Hey, what's going on guys? So this video is going to be covering this program right here called iExplore. This is going to be for Windows only. Um, they do make one for Mac from what I read, but this is going to be specifically for the Windows users, okay? So if you're on Windows 7, 8, or 10, um, this will work for you. I'm running Windows 10, 64-bit version, but it doesn't really matter if you're on a 64-bit or a 32-bit version. It works either way, okay? So I'm going to put this in the description so you guys can kind of read up on this application. Uh, long story short, it gives you access to your devices, iPads, iPods, and iPhones. Um, and it gives you access to your um, to your old backups as well. So if you have an old backup that's you know you've been saving on an external drive and you want to explore the contents without having to you know restore or backup first your phone and then restore it to the old backup, this is going to be a really good um, a choice for you to use as far as application goes. So you can ex actually explore all the contents that are within that backup. Okay, so. If you guys are wanting to download this, I do have this in the description, okay? So first things first, so we're gonna download this WormWire application so that we can extract the file. So open up your browser and then just copy and paste that link that I will put in the description. Like I said, I'm running a 64-bit operating system, but for here, all we really need is a 32-bit version of the WormWire. I already downloaded this earlier, so I'm just gonna follow the prompt so you guys can watch and see how you're gonna do this. So if you're not on Google Chrome and you don't see this little thing, I know Firefox usually has it like up here. Um, if you don't see it here, you can just go down to your downloads and then click right here where it says download and we're gonna go ahead and click on this file. And then just follow the prompts. Click install. Really small, it's a really small file and it doesn't take very long for you guys to download and install it. Click done. And it's gonna tell me that I installed a 32-bit version on a 64-bit operating system, it went just fine. Just click okay, and then exit this out. <clears throat> From here, we're gonna go back to the actual file for the program, and this is in my Dropbox, so that's where this is coming from. Copy and paste this one into your browser. And then once you hit enter, I got it set to automatically download. So we're gonna go ahead and just let this install. <clears throat> It might ask you to download the latest version of iTunes. For those of you who know, iTunes will be going obsolete within the next couple weeks, I believe, next week or the week after. So we'll see how the program handles after the fact. But like I said, I actually was able to um, explore the old backups without even bothering with iTunes, okay? So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and just go to my download folder. And then you're gonna want to click on iExplore and install the application. So click OK, and then you're going to see this, click on this, and then click where it says Setup, and then click where it says I Explore, And then from here, just follow the prompts, click Yes, and then click Next, and then Next, Next, and Install. So once this is finished, I'm not gonna launch the application yet. Just click on finish, and I'm gonna exit out my boxes. And minimize this one. If it's gonna be the first time you guys connect your uh, phone to your PC, which I highly doubt if you've been an iPhone user for a while, um, it's gonna ask you to trust the uh, the connection to your PC to your um, to your device, iPod, iPad, or iPhone. So just make sure you click on trust, okay? So once you did that it'll be able to access information from your device to your computer for you to be able to um, export your, your content. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and click on I Explore. If I can find my icon, there it is. Click on this. And I just backed up my phone yesterday, so it's gonna see a backup on there. For you guys, it's gonna ask you to back up the phone, so just let it back up, and after it's done, you'll be able to look at your content. <clears throat> so let me just go ahead and connect it here. I thought I had my phone connected, but I did not. <coughs> Excuse me. So from here, let me see. You're gonna see the name of my phone up here. Just let it read real quick. And you'll see this home screen. Um, like I said, it's gonna ask you to download iTunes more than likely, so just go ahead and download iTunes, and it's gonna ask you to back up the phone for the first time. So just back it up, and then you're gonna see the same thing that I'm looking at. Name of the phone, your phone number, your capacity, ser serial number, 
the backup if it's encrypted or not, and then the backup date. Um, from here, if you want to export any kind of photos or videos, the easiest way to do it without you know, it giving you any kind of issues, click on this little arrow where it says photos, <coughs> and then click where it says item type. From item type, it's going to start bringing down all kinds of different little uh, folders. If you go right here and go to like screenshots or something, it's going to give you the actual thumbnails for you to look at okay if you want to export like just one photo or multiple photos it'll give you the options right here so for me I'm gonna go ahead and just export this one right here so right here I'm gonna click export and it gives you the option to do the whole library or the whole um, album or the one selected image so I'm gonna click on selected image and it's gonna be going to the path of the desktop so once I click OK it's gonna open up the folder or the path of where this item is gonna be uh, located so just click OK it's already named because I was using this as a trial earlier. Click yes. You won't see that yes part. You're just, you're just gonna see this part right here. And then when you open up your folder or your item, you're gonna see your little thumbnail or your photo, whatever whatever it is that you exported, you're gonna see that right there. So if I wanted to do another one, let's just say, we'll do, um, we'll do this one. Just click on it and then go to export and then one selected image again to the desktop and I did this one as well earlier just click I'm gonna click yes but you'll see this and I'm not sure which one it was I think it was this one Let's see. nope that was an old file let me see here it's gonna have to be this one <coughs> that one right there so I'll do one more for you guys we're gonna go ahead and undo my little boy right here. So you don't gotta right click on it, and just click on export, and then do one selected image, and then we'll do okay. And then you have your file. So there's that. If you want to export videos, it's gonna be pretty much the exact same thing. Video is gonna take a little bit longer because it is a bigger file than a JPG. Um, or a PNG or you know whatever kind of file that you're gonna have but as you can see I'm big on photos and videos and stuff like that so that's pretty much why I use this application but like I said if you guys have an old backup and you guys want to explore it without having to you know back up your phone and restore it to the old backups this is gonna be a really good alternative for you guys um, let me see if you go down to where it says where was it I think it's just backup right here you can click on one of these tabs and it can look at all the content and export whatever you want. You can export your voicemails, your call history, your messages, anything like that that you want to export. Um, if you have any issues or any questions, feel free to message me. I will respond to everybody ASAP. You can comment on YouTube if you want to. Um, a lot of people like to add me on my social media. My, my Instagram and my Snapchat will be in the description. So if you guys feel free to add me on there and shoot me a message um, and we'll go from there. Hopefully everybody you know doesn't have any issues downloading this. I know there's going to be some bugs in here. That's why I'm going to be looking for the updated version. So if you guys come across anything, feel free to leave me a message and I'll see if I can find a workaround if you guys are having an issue with something. And that's pretty much it, man. Um, as always, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to be notified of any new videos. If you guys are interested in Fire Stick stuff, um, I have some videos on that stuff or your pay-per-view events, your sports, and uh, all your movies and TV shows and stuff like that. So check those out and uh, give them a like. And uh, I will hit y'all back with another video ASAP. Thank you.